Hey guys. Hello. So uh, Addie's been messing with some of the stuff. Toiling away on the breadboard of tomorrow. This is from uh, John S. A. Z.'s box. Yes. And um. And inspired by Maker Dino's LM386 audio amplifier project on his Hack a Week show. What have you done here so far? I have made it. I have created it from nothing. Well, parts. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the LM386 chip. What's um, it do? It amplifies via op amp action. And how does that generally through. basically work? Um it pretty much looks at comparing two different inputs, the voltage difference, and then amplifies that voltage difference. And here we're giving the tip of a guitar jack as one of the inputs. Mm -hmm. And I am assuming like the second input is like to ground or something. Correct. So you're just measuring the difference between and I the actually, two. Yes, and I actually didn't realize that I had to put the ground of this uh, quarter inch jack to ground. <laughs> I just saw it in the schematic as inputs going to um, Let's see, which pin are we at? So you were basically trying to, trying to learn how to read schematics. This is the first time you've built a circuit off Correct. of paper Correct. into a real... It's my first schematic. Reel. My first circuit, actually. I, well, yeah. yeah. You built your radio. Yeah. Oh, I guess that's true. Well, this is the first breadboarded one. So. And your radio one didn't really have a uh, schematic. No. It was more like you were watching videos of how people hook stuff up. Yep. And then I made my own ghetto schematic. So, to do this, you're obviously able to read um, resistance values and capacitance. Well, yes. and I had, a, I had to pull up some charts for that. And I actually got one of the portions wrong because this is an 11K resistor and... There is an arrow to it in the schematic, which technically meant that I needed a poten a variable uh, resistor or potentiometer. So I just kind of made a, that mistake. But it works, still, even with that. It just means that resistance is at max. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. And what else? Um... So I'll put up the schematic that I used, and actually these numbers, see, when I first started, I was pretty anal about the numbers. I was like, wait, I don't have a 10 ohm resistor. I have a 7.5 ohm resistor. Is that okay? And everyone was just like, uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty close. So, and that's pretty low ohmage too. Um... What else? I had a lot of issues Those sorts with... of things are typically there just to stop um, a free flow of current, right? Yes. You're just sort of directing it the way that you want it to go. You, you need to have it connected to ground, but you, you, know, you don't want it to be a direct connection so that that takes over. Right. And all the electrons go that way. That is correct. I think. I think there's something specific with a capacitor and a resistor. Um, being yeah. connected like that, but I don't exactly know why. Yeah, you tuning it that way. Yeah. In a sense. So, a couple issues that I had with new, with this being one of my more new uh, experiences, is the concept of ground, putting things to ground, um, and capacitors. Like, it's really simple, but each of these has a stripe on it that indicates the negative pole. And on some of the schematics, it labels which side they want the positive side to be on, which side they don't. They want the negative side. And on schematics, did I say that right? On some they they put it, and on some they don't. So I was looking at schematics that did not indicate which uh, side the positive side should be on. So I had to flip a couple of capacitors uh, in the experimentation. All right. So you're pretty sure you got this thing working? Yes. And there's a 9-volt battery, because that's all it needs to charge it, or power it. And we'll put that in the... I can hear it clicking there, aren't you? Heh! 
attach power. Ah, uh, you're acting as an antenna. I am. You can hear an AM station. <laughs> I bet this will do it too. Oh, it does. Here you go. You can play this. Oh, um, she's asking me to plug this little guy into it. Take one of our cigar box guitars. Let's see if I can do this without breaking anything. <laughs> and that affects the game. Woo. You know, that gives me an idea actually. Oh, if you were to, I think I got one sitting here actually. Um, if you were to take out this volume controlling resistor right here, you can take it out. Go ahead. And instead of doing a pot, you do uh, an opto something. This changes its uh, resistance. Don't forget to put it to ground. Yeah. This changes its resistance according to how much light there is. I so if I were that. to I'll do that. play a note and you change the light. Anyway, I think that's a pretty good demo that you got the idea going. Yes. So, um, I'm probably gonna try to modify this with some extra goodies just to get your imagination going. Okay. See if I can get you excited. Okay. Alright, so I think that'll do it for today. Okay. Bye. Bye. We post videos all the time, so don't forget to subscribe. And follow us on Twitter at TYMKRS.